Good morning, everybody. It's Miranda here, and today I am actually going to be doing something different than I have ever done before. I am going to be vlogging my whole day um, in a collab with Jordan's Live uh, YouTube channel. So, if you have not checked out her channel, please go do so. If you um, are coming from her channel, then I welcome you. My name is Miranda and I'm super excited that you have decided to come and watch this video as well. All right, everybody. I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me, but we got like some ice coming down, but we're trying to get to the store 22 miles away from home before the big snowstorm comes. And I'm gonna show you all the ice. All right, he scraped those off like right before we got in the car five miles from here and look it already has ice all over it we need to get to the grocery all right we stopped at a mongolian place to have lunch so we have beef and we have zucchini um some broccoli and some jalapenos are in there um, and did I say zucchini? Yeah, a little bit of green onion. And I think that's it. All right. All right, so I showed these on my stories, but look, with red lipstick, I can conquer the world. And I have some heart ones. And I like uh, romantic walks down the makeup aisle. Those are really cute. And then for, they have donut chocolates and mint chocolates. Some golf balls. If my husband and I weren't on a low carb diet, we would certainly have to pick those up for him. Some tennis ball ones. Craft beer candies. That's really cute. beef jerky. Right. Super cute. Okay. Y'all, in a world where people are trying to diet, they sure do have a lot of stuff that is um, donut. Like, I'm not understanding the donut craze. Y'all see my nails? I put on some cheap nail polish and it is not doing so good. That's why it's cheap nail polish, I guess. Let's see what else I got. A little sign. Oh, I used to do string art when I was little. Younger, in my younger days. Dylan's candy bar stuff. I got some of this stuff at Christmas time in the stockings. Some really cute stuff for Valentine's. Cookies and candy. I gotta get out of the candy aisle. Put the UPC out and the bag. There you go. <laughs> yeah, at Menards. Buying a paintbrush. We drove 22 miles to buy a paintbrush. And steel wool. Oh, and steel wool. And whatever else we can fit in this bag. And whatever else we can fit in this bag for 15% off. Concrete. I need concrete for my countertops. Yeah. Can we... One bag, one bag <laughs> concrete in each bag? Yeah, there's two of us. We get two bags, right? Oh, is that how it works? Sure. I don't have my own money, though, so you have to pay for mine, too. How about that ladder? Think that'll go in there? Where is this deal wool? Um, what is it for? The table. The table. What about some white paint? We need white paint Lots of things. No, extra question. To repaint the bench in the kitchen? Okay. What else? The window trim. And finish the trim. All right. 
I don't usually film in public, but since this is a doing what's in my life video, it's part of my life. I think you're old when you go to the, the uh, Menards every Saturday. That's how you spend your Saturday in the home improvement store, like my grandpa used to do. Did you only get one paintbrush? No, it was two. Okay. Where are rollers at? What rollers? For the, for the roller thing. Like you need the, you want to know where the actual roller is? The pads are right there. For the little one, like I used to paint the bottom of the table. That was in that gray tin. Oh, um... Are they over here somewhere? I don't know. I don't remember. Looking for a small roller. What do y'all do on your Saturday? Let me know in the comments below how you spend your Saturday. If you're old like me and you spend it at the, um, What should I call it? I think so. He's the one to ask, though. Okay. He's with me. Hey, Mike. Here's the over here. Um. Anyways, are you old like me and spend it at the home improvement store? This is no Lowe's, though, y'all. But. I don't know if this is what he's looking for. I don't know. Let's go get some design inspiration in the kitchen department. Ooh. I'm going to redo that nasty kitchen of mine at some point. Alright, so I'm working on um, my hot chocolate bar. Kind of a reset a little bit making sure there's no Christmas in there anymore and um, putting up some things that I found at Target in uh, the dollar spot if you like blueberry coffee this is the best coffee in the world it comes from uh, Bryant's Amish store in Greenbrier Tennessee but you can order it from their website too um, that Bryant's is just where I got mine, but Cumberland Coffee, um, Cumberland Valley Coffee Company is where you can order it from. So, and it smells and tastes like blueberry. So I keep this cat here. Of course, our, our marshmallows for coffee, some caramel drizzle. And then in the top one, I keep after school snacks for the kids. I haven't even ever seen this box. It's a sweet and sa salty. It was a holiday box, and it's got like some Cracker Jacks in it, so something a little different. I keep popcorn up here and some nuts. Just try to give them a variety of things every week. I think my son brings his friends over and they all eat. Go get the 
uh, stuff that I got uh, at Dollar Spot. So in the Dollar Spot at Target, I found some cute stuff for Valentine's Day. Um, I would probably normally write on this, but I'm actually going to use this um, as part of a decoration during a gender reveal party for my son and his uh, girlfriend. So I don't really know where I'm gonna put this, but we'll just keep it right there for right now because that bis this biscuit board here stays all the time. That was my grandmother's and it was actually her mother's, so. And then I might have to get some scissors. Three bucks for some little towels. And this one is an old fashioned hot cocoa. And it tells you how to make the uh, hot cocoa. Isn't that cool? So I don't really ever use these towels. Sometimes if there's something wet, I will, um, you know, maybe dry that off for my hands, but for the most part, I just hang them here on the uh, on the drawers there. And then here's a black and white one. That buffalo check or whatever. So really cute. And this one from this side. Then the next thing I have is this little banner. And I have to admit, you guys that are wa watch all my videos, you might see the hot chocolate bar reset um, twice because I'm doing, I'm showing part of you during my day in the life vlog. And then I might do like a, a video showing how I did it as well for the winter. Do y'all keep your hot chocolate bars up all the time or just at Christmas? Let me know. And this is just a little paper thing. This is one of my favorite things that I got in that uh, dollar spot. I should probably, don't do this at home boys and girls. I just have a wet kitchen floor and I can't go in there right now. So, isn't that cute? It's got little hearts on it and I love these little tassels. And let's see if I have the, look how much I paid for this thing. Five dollars, seriously, five bucks. And it fits really nice. That is the cutest thing ever. Let's see if I can binge out down there so you can see what it looks like. See? Right there in front of the fridge. That fridge is supposed to be a temporary fridge. I really, really want a really nice stainless steel one. So let's set y'all back down very easily just because, you know, not trying to make anybody puke. And then the last thing I have is this really cute little block. A buck. One dollar. So I'll probably just set it right there on the scale. So there we have it. I have oh, all crooked. Now we gotta go cook some dinner. We got friends coming over. Let's go. Next up on the list of things we're doing today on our Saturday, we're making some soup, some taco soup. It's supposed to go in the crock pot, but it didn't make the crock pot. So we're gonna try to do it on the stove. And let's see, we have ground beef and um, garlic in here. And then 
if you come down here, we have, this is a uh, cubed up cream cheese. We're going to use some beef broth, some diced tomatoes, and a little bit of garlic. And also in there, in the, with the meat, is a taco seasoning. So tonight on the menu is uh, taco soup. And I have somebody coming over. A lot of times, if it's like our friends, um, our best friends, Tony and Chet, she will expect something to be baked. And... Um, and sitting in my dome uh, cake stand. Usually it's brownies because she likes brownies the best. But today the order is sugar cookies and we're cheating today. We're just making the Betty Crocker ones out of here. But I'm not gonna tell her that I did not bake them by scratch. Okay? So don't you tell her either. And I don't think she's part of my channel. I don't think she watches YouTube, so I don't have anything to worry about. That she comments on this video. Right? This so, one video. Huh? This one video. Right. So, yeah, I love these mixing bowls. They're like my favorite mixing bowls from um, Hobby Lobby. There's some jealous dogs. Huh? So there's some jealous dogs. Yeah, if one comes, the other one comes. Huh? So, alright. There is some sugar cookie mix. So that she knows there's something. A lot of times I'll bake something on Mondays while the kids are at school, too. So that they have something during the week. You should make those, um, the ones that you don't have to bake cookie. Huh? The ones that you don't have to bake, those chocolate ones that would make them. Oh, the no-bake cookies? Oh my gosh, I would ruin my diet on no-bake cookies, man. Do what? Want to grab it over? just a little bit of vanilla. My scarf is all messed up. And it's hot in here. I'm just going to take that off. Whew. Just a smidge. Ruby, if y'all want the best vanilla ever, Mexican vanilla. That is the secret to amazing baked items, is good vanilla. If you can't get the, the Mexican vanilla, then I think Watkins is the best. All right, we're gonna bake us some cookies. All right, so it's 6.15, I have cooked dinner. Our plans for our uh, friends coming over for game night got canceled because he is diabetic and something happened with his blood sugar and he's not feeling good so they are not coming over so I don't know if we're still gonna have family game night which we always do so we probably will play a game like with my husband and that kind of thing but for right now I'm honestly gonna show you what I'm doing because I feel like I've been on my feet like all day so y'all ready for this That's a drinky drink. That's an adult beverage. And that's what I'm doing. It is bubbly, like the sparkling water, and a little bit of um, vodka, or maybe a lot. I'm not gonna tell. And <laughs> it's carb free, so that's why I drink the vodka. Um, it has some cherry in it and it has a little bit of the like the sugar-free packets of um, Water enhancer stuff like the crystal light stuff 
That's what's going on in my drinky drink. And I have a magazine. Like this is an expensive magazine at, um, how much do I pay for this? For $15. But it is like my one of my favorite um, magazines ever. Like it is my splurge. Um, yeah, I love it. And I think it comes out every two months. But Vintage Cottage. So that is what I'm reading at the moment. And then I picked up this one too. Um, see if we can turn around. Keto, the Never Hungry Diet magazine. So maybe I will find a good recipe in there. Let's go check though on my soup, on my taco soup, because I'm getting hungry. I don't really think I've had anything to eat all day. I don't think, I haven't eaten all day, now that I come to think of it. I better grab a pot holder. It is loud, you guys. But, put that there. We'll give it a little stir here. That's what's for dinner. Taco soup. I should probably go like in my laundry room and do some laundry. Who wants to do that? So, I think I'm going to just sit back down and read that magazine. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Who wants to see actually if my bird will come out and play with me while the dog is up? and can't get out because she's a beagle and she will try to eat him. So there he is. Come play with me. No, you get back to your one. Come on. See if I can get him to come out for you. Not really tall enough to get that off. I might have to That's why I want to stay up. I'll have to get him out. If he comes out, I will show him to y'all. Alright, we'll see if we can get him out. Come on. We might have to get him, ooh, a cracker. Let's go get him a cracker. And I bet he'll come out. Because he is definitely food made, motivated. Come see me. Come on, Cash. Come on out. We can be heroes in our own lives. Every month. <gasps> Good boy. Here he is. Now, climb up there so the doggies don't get you. There he is. I'll let y'all see. He's scared. He's like, get away from me. I have a cracker. Don't touch me. All right, that's what's going on. Soup's on the stove. I gave the bird a little treat and let him out for a minute. I am going to go read a magazine and drink that adult drink. All right, so to show my silly side, I came down in my office because that's where they were. I'm going to do the puppy dog one. And it is a poor control mask. The grapefruit extract, lime extract, and honeysuckle. And I got these on clearance at Target for $1.98. So let's put on a mask. I'll put it on and then I'll come back. Alright, so this is the puppy dog mask. This one. And it says to leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. So we're just going to sit here and relax and mask. Do I look like a puppy dog? Like, do these really look like ears and eyes? I don't care if I look like a puppy dog or not, as long as it works. <laughs> All 
All right, I've been laying on this couch for about 20 minutes, so why don't we go upstairs, take it off, rub it all in, and I'll show you the rest of my skin care routine. Oh, nothing like getting up when you're old. I feel old. I don't really feel that old with a, a puppy dog mask on. I feel more like an immature 15 year old. But who can argue with a dollar and what, 97 cents? Not I. I will wear anything you tell me to on my face for a dollar 98. All right. So I'm going to set y'all down here. Hope I'm not making anybody sick. All right. One thing about masks, though, they are cold. Ice cold. All right. So let's rub that in really good. Rub it in real, real nice. And then I'm just going to kind of dab mine with a towel just a little bit so that I can put on the other serums, okay? All right, so I just dabbed it a little bit. It is a little bit sticky, but that's okay. All right, so I use another serum. It's by Estee Lauder. There you go. And I just put a little bit, I get really dry under my eyes here. So I just pat a little and rub it in. Pat, rub it in. Okay. And then my, my forehead will get dry sometimes too. And then I have a, another one by Estee Lauder that I use all the time. Let's see if I can get that to focus. And it is an advanced eye repair. So I dab that just around my eyes here. Really quick. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I hope this content was somewhat good. I've never done a day in the life of my channel, but I feel like I I did a lot today. I did my, got my, uh, bar all set up for Valentine's Day and the winter cocoa bar. I cooked some taco soup for dinner that was low carb. This that I'm putting on is some of my favorite skincare cream. It is also by Estee Lauder and it is the Nightwear Plus if you can see there. All right. So I'm just putting that on. There's a little barrier. My eyes, y'all see how dark around my eyes are? Thank goodness for color corrector. All right, so I hate that this is how I'm ending the video. In my bathroom, taking off makeup, but I guess that's real life, isn't it? All right. Um, once again, thank you so much for coming and watching this video and hanging out with me today. Uh, if you came from uh, Jordan's Life, the channel, then thank you for stopping by. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I will be having a giveaway going on when I hit that 100 subscribers. I've only got two left, so maybe by Monday I might even already be at 100 subscribers. Um, so I'll be opening up the, uh, the, um, uh, what is that thing called? The giveaway for the swag bag. Um, probably, I'll probably do it maybe Friday. I might do it Friday. I might draw Friday. So if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up for me 
And um, if you so choose, go ahead and hit share for me. Also, make sure you go over, hit the link in the description below to join my Instagram page so that you can be entered for the swag bag. All right. If you're a current subscriber, you know I love y'all. All right. See you later. Bye.